Your health insurance options. How are you going to pay the hospital bill, the doctor bills? I decided to do this video as a follow-up to my previous video about the health insurance. And most of my viewers are expats or they want to be expats. They want to move out of their home country and retire or live, work uh, overseas in a different country, partly because of cost of living, partly because, because of the culture, other reasons as well. I'm going to talk a little bit in depth on the options we have. You know, we all insure our cars, our vehicles. We insure our houses and uh, need to do that. Very important. But many traveling overseas, retiring overseas, uh, think that uh, because partly because the, the medical care in the country they're moving to is much less than their home country, their Western country, whether U.S. or Europe or Wherever, of course, uh, Canada, Europe, um, Australia, they pay in premiums into the health care system, similar to what we do with, with Medicare in the USA, and we can rely on that if we are in country. And uh, so anyway, let's talk about the options. Your, your options, you can self-insure if you've got enough money in the bank. Uh, you, you can self-insure up to a point. For even for catastrophic, if you're relatively wealthy, um, if you have a state or country medical plan that you can rely on to cover you when you're out of the country, as well as in country. Um, now, Medicare in the USA will not cover, in most cases, will not cover you when you're out of the country. That's a problem for people in the USA. I believe there is one little way around that. If you're not out of the country, I think more than six months. So I know several of my subscribers, they will they will come here for five, six months, go back to the U.S. for a while, come back for five, six months. And if you are not on the main Medicare plan, but you are on one of those privately funded, it costs you the same thing basically, but you go through uh, uh, Humana, there are other companies that basically pay the same as the uh, uh, country-owned Medicare system does, but they will cover you cover you out of country uh, for certain expenses, and that is if you're not staying permanently out of the country. So you're going back to the USA, and then a lot of the people from from Canada, UK, Australia, I think. Uh, I'm not sure if it covers them out of country or not. Um, Comment it below if you will. Let us know. I know uh, several people from the UK and Australia who go back, Canada, go back to their country, get on a waiting list to get certain procedures done there. And that's part of the problem there, too, is that there's often a long waiting list for those procedures. Another option would be travel insurance. And I will, uh, sometime in the next couple of weeks, I will try to do a video on travel insurance. And that will cover you uh, in certain situations as well. Now, travel insurance also comes in uh, many different uh, forms. It can just include uh, your flights, like flight insurance, if cancellation, uh, things like that. It can include uh, health and medical issues as well as uh, transportation back to your home country if you're sick and I'll do another video on that uh, in the near future. And the best option for many people uh, who are going to retire overseas and they're not going to travel regularly back to their home country is to buy insurance that will cover you in that country or if you're going to travel to a number of different countries will cover you as you travel uh, through several different countries. And, and, and give you pretty good coverage. And there's many different levels of coverage. Uh, you know, if you want to stay in a ward where there's many people in, in a room, many beds and, and patients, you can, you can go semi-private, you can go private, and then you can set various limits on how much it will cover you. And your price will go accordingly. Um, will also depends upon the, the cap, how much uh, coverage you're buying into, and one of the problems for those of us who have matured to the point where we are retired is that many companies, and, and I've looked into many of them, will not cover people over uh, 60, 65 years old. Uh, so that's difficult. And I did a previous video about Pacific Cross here, and they're based out of 
the Philippines used to be uh, associated with Blue Cross, and uh, I did a video about that. I'm going to get more in depth into their policy uh, brochure. The the brochure, the, the video I put up didn't go into a lot of the details. It was just kind of a a broad brush look at the the policy, and uh, because of some of the comments and questions I had on that video I'm going to go a little more in depth on that and uh, just depending upon your your cost of living your budget you know you you need to budget for certain things and if you're if you're going to self-insure you, you need that backup money of course I guess bankruptcy it depends upon uh, the country that you're in maybe maybe an option at some point in time as well so I did a previous uh, video at uh, Pacific Cross, and I used their website information, which is not as thorough as the brochure. So I'm going to go over a little bit additional information. And uh, uh, if some of you have watched that already and that was enough, great. Uh, there are going to be new people viewing this video, no doubt, uh, as well as some who want more of the details of what the plan actually covers. So I'm going to go into some of that. Anyway, let's go over here to products and services. This is their website, pacificcross.com.ph. And they are one of the companies that will offer coverage up to 100 years old. Uh, I talked to a lady there, uh, Charisse, and I'll put her contact information uh, in the, uh, in the uh, description of the video. Um, They've got offices in Manila, Makati, Manila, in Cebu City, close to Ayala Mall, in uh, Davao, and then as well they've got a number of agents around the Philippines as well. They've got a number of coverages that might be of interest with you. You've got medical plans, travel plans, accident plans, some other things, but let's go to the medical plans. That's what we're talking about today. Uh, let's start at the bottom. Royal Blue is a dollar... A dollar plan basically and I believe you can get that uh, uh, for European in the EU as well EU uh, premiums I believe and it even covers you in Shenzhen areas if I pronounce that correctly uh, so that is a, a dollar plan that will cover you worldwide select plan uh, also has some worldwide coverage outside the country outside the Philippines and uh, they've got select they got select plus it is a Philippine peso based premium and payout plan. So when you're looking at the figures, be sure that you understand whether the premiums are in dollars as they would be in blue and, and the benefits and, or they select which are Philippine peso. Um, Flexa Shield, uh, uh, Critical Care Extra, this is up and above Blue Royal, that's kind of a rider. And then they've got some group policies as well. Anyway, let's go down here first, which most most of you I think will be interested in. Uh, let's go to the Flexa Shield, and also, as I stated, I'm going to go over uh, much more in depth the actual uh, what it covers, and it it is pretty extensive, and uh, I think worth the money unless you can. Now another another option here in the Philippines is something called Phil Health. Now Phil Health costs. About 17,000 17, pesos uh, a year, and at the at the present 55 pesos to the U.S. dollar, that would be 309 dollars a year, and I think you can pay that quarterly. But they aren't going to pay nearly as much. I was uh, six months ago. I was in the hospital five days uh, with a broken shoulder, and. Uh, they paid, I, I, I forget the details, I did a, a different video about, about that. I got a senior citizen's discount, and PhilHealth paid a certain amount. But I had to pay several thousand, I think over $3,000 out of pocket uh, for those services as well. And this coverage uh, would, have, would have saved me uh, most of that cost because it was all in, in the hospital. So in this up update, I'll try to go through this uh, rather quickly. Pacific Cross has, I think, about three of their own personal offices, uh, Davao City, Cebu City, and, and uh, Clark. And then they've got quite a number of agents also who represent them throughout the Philippines. But you have two plans under, under Select. Select Plus, 
with an aggregate limit per year up to five million. Uh, and that's about a hundred thousand U.S. dollars, and you have select standard. So you have you have standard, and you have select plus, uh, and the costs vary a little bit. You also have other choices whether you would uh, prefer to stay in a ward, a semi-private, or a private room. That will affect uh, your costs as well. And uh, if you're on a tight budget. You'll know, pick the ward. I think even Enrique, some of you know him with this YouTube channel, uh, he had an issue here in the last year and was in for several days. And he stayed in the ward, and he said it wasn't, wasn't bad at all. Because many of you, uh, but not all of you, have seen my previous video. I'm going to go through this rather quickly, and if you want to stop the video to read through it uh, a little bit more, you can do that. And your coverage begins 30 days after the date shown on your policy. However, you already have immediate coverage for accident injury. And then it goes into pre-existing conditions, what they are, uh, certain conditions that are not covered. Your contract is guaranteed renewable up to age 100. They reserve the right to adjust your premium. Select plus your aggregate limit per year and select standard for each disability per lifetime. So that's the difference. Uh, basic uh, Basic hospital benefits as charged, uh, miscellaneous hospital benefits, laboratory tests, etc., as charged. Um, physicians visit, uh, 2,000 pesos, and then goes up, um, increases as you increase your policy type, and whether your ward here, semi private, private, and here's Select Plus, uh, 3 million uh, total per year, and 5 million. Now, a million pesos is uh, is about twenty thousand U.S. dollars, and that would be quite a sum for a, a long stay here in the Philippines. Uh, costs of hospitalization here are much much less, and then specialist fees, private duty nurse. Uh, they have the limits there. Surgical procedures subject subject to their uh, limits of their surgical benefits. Non surgical procedures. Uh, for instance, intravenous chemotherapy, therapy, radiotherapy, um, colonoscopy or gastroscopy without biopsy, blood transfusions, intensive care, intensive care unit, coronary care unit as charged, operating theater and recovery room as charged, surgeon's fees 60000 on up as you go up in uh, your premiums. Anesthesiologist fees, they're again listed. Medi medical implant due to an accident, 25000 Emergency benefits, emergency outpatient, uh, 6000 so just a little over $100 US. And I can tell you my experience, uh, consultation fees, you go in to see a doctor, even a specialist, range anywhere from 400 pesos, about $8, up to 800 was the most I've been charged, $16 for a consultation with a specialist. My hospital charge for getting a skin cancer, a small piece of skin cancer cut off my head, was 5000 for the doctor and 5000 or 6000 for the uh, for the use of the operating room, for instance. Pesos, pesos. Emergency dental services as charged due to an, a covered accident, emergency local ambulance service as charged, uh, emergency overseas coverage, worldwide coverage is included for no more than 30 days per trip for travel overseas during the policy year, worldwide emergency assistance services. Pacific Cross, through our assistance partner, will provide the assistance and other advice 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free, but the client will be responsible for any third-party charges incurred as a result of such advice and assistance unless otherwise specified in the policy. A insured person must be traveling 100 miles or 150 kilometers or more from his primary legal residence or in another country, which is not his or her country of residence, less than 91 days unless otherwise endorsed in the policy. Services include but not limit 
to, to the following emergency medical eva evacuation evacuation under appropriate medical supervision to the nearest medical facility medical repatriation repatriation under medical supervision to the insured person's legal residence or to a medical or rehabilitation facility near the insured's personal residence return of mortal remains that will be arranged and paid for compassionate visit when the insured person is traveling alone and will be hospitalized for more than five consecutive days in economy round trip common carrier transportation will be provided to a family member or a friend to accompany the insured person care of minor children one-way economy common carrier transportation will be provided to the place of residence of minor children when they are left unattended as a result of medical emergency or death of an insured person interesting all that might come in hand handy here again they've got it broken down by ward semi private private and, and and select plus with higher higher limits uh, mental health care psychologist psychologist cost per visit annual physical physical examination via no cash outlay only to be done in accredited Pacific Cross APA providers requires prior appointment by getting in touch with our customer services department. AF, A, APE includes the following taking of medical history, comprehensive physical examination, complete blood count, chest x ray, stool analysis, urinalysis, lipid profile, blood urea, nitrogen fasting blood sugar serum glutam glutamic uh, transaminase creatine uric acid electrocardiogram ECG for clients 35 years old and above and a pap smear for female clients 35 years old and above elective surgery companion allowance 100 pesos per day, 200 pesos per day, 300 pesos per day, depending upon which policy you have. Sports coverage, that's interesting. Uh, accidents with uh, for, for recreational sports, including skia and scuba, excluding contact sports, included. Free, free child coverage, free coverage for a newborn of a female insured, as early as the infant's 15th day up to the female insurance policy re re renewal. Anti-venom, rabies, and tetanus post-exposure prophylaxis as charged. That's interesting. If you get, uh, you know, rabies, uh, animal bites are, are a big thing here. A lot of, a lot of dogs roaming around, cats roaming around, uh, snakes in certain areas. I have not, I've only seen one snake since I've been here, which really surprised me. Personal accident benefit, coverage f coverage for accidental death, covers new business clients age 16 to 60, renewable until age 65. Travel benefits, land vehicle rental excess protection, land vehicle rental return, baggage policy, um, this information if you have damage to your rental vehicle not covered you know my my credit cards cover uh, give me insurance um, some better than others uh, if I put that put that car rental on my uh, like American Express card lost damage sporting equipment loss or damaged baggage baggage and personal effects 15,000 a little more than 300 US dollars loss of gadgets theft of cash theft of cash loss of travel documents mobile phone charges, trip cancellation, trip termination, and uh, they're getting 40,000, about, uh, about 800 US dollars. Trip termination, 40,000 and 20,000 uh, for acts of, act, uh, sudden acts of terrorism. Sudden acts of terrorism drops down to 20,000. Staff replacement for business trip only. If you need to, uh, a person who is accompanying you, I guess, can't make it. Flight delays, uh, and these are all in pesos. Misconnecting flight, strikes or hijack. Alternative means of transportation, reimbursement for the cost of a new flight and related fare expense incurred 
uh, for the use of alternate onward public transportation. 4,000, uh, a little less than 100 US dollars. Trip postponement, reimbursement for the non-refundable portion of travel fare and accommodation expenses. Optional benefits, 25,000, executive 50,000, and they'll pay 80% up to 65 years old or 50%, uh, 66 to 80 years old. And, you know, consultation fees in doctor's office, very, very little here, like I said, 400, 800. Uh, physio a physiotherapist or chiropractor, diagnostic x-rays, laboratory tests, medicines and drugs prescribed by a doctor, prenatal, postnatal uh, consultations, and dental benefits. Uh, dentures only as a result of accident only. Complete set, 4,000. Partial set, 7,000. Um, I did a video several years ago on uh, dental. I've got several videos up on dental and the costs here. So dental benefits overall limit per year including excluding dentures, x-rays, fillings, anterior fillings, root canal fillings, extractions, routine, oral examination twice per year and oral prophylaxis twice per year, 10,000. About a little more than 200 US dollars. Annual premiums. This is Okay, now this is Select Plus. If you choose Select Plus, and of course you can you can uh, you can save money by going with a ward instead of semi-private or private. So let's look down here and just see what we get. And these prices, uh, you, you can go across here. Most of you are at least 60, 61. So let's go down here. So let's take 70, uh, board 69, 69, 69, 69, 003, divided by 55 as the current U.S. exchange rate equals uh, per year. Uh, this is in pesos, $1,255 per year, divided by 12 months, averages 104 hundred and four dollars per month so 70 let's go across here to semi-private one hundred thousand nine hundred fifty one sounds like a lot of pesos comes out to divide by 55 the current exchange rate that is uh, one thousand eight hundred and thirty five US dollars now divide that by divide that by 12 comes out to 153 dollars per month if you don't have the cash to come up with this they do take credit cards and that would give you the monthly monthly charges although you would have interest rates on your credit card of course so there is the select plus plan and you can let's go to the regular select which is less expensive can save you some money but you can look through your age group and then keep in mind that each year, you're a year older, your your premium adjusts. And there was one area I had one of my subscribers, I think he's over on Bahol, and he mentioned uh, when he jumped from, I think, 65 to 66, there was a pretty substantial uh, jump in premium. Most, most years, it's about 9, 10%, I, I think I figured out. But uh, from 65 to 66 was, was a larger jump in fees. And let's look at uh, 70 years old again. Go across here to semi-private. 91,823 divided by 55 pesos to U.S. dollar. 1,669 U.S. dollars divide that by 12 and comes out to 139 US dollars a month. Not bad for that age, I think. There's some optional benefits uh, available to all select plans, outpatient benefits uh, that you can buy into. I think uh, additional cost for those riders, dental benefits, personal accident coverage, co-payment. If you want a discount, uh, if you want to do a co-payment, uh, you can go with a, let's see, Pacific Cross pays 80% of claimed amount, 80-20 copayment option, applied to premiums of core benefits only, and you get a 25% discount. That would be another way to save a little bit of money if you uh, want to go with a copayment. 
I will admit that I have been uh, a bit lax. You know, I've had Phil Health, but uh, I've, I've been a little bit discouraged as I talk to various uh, various health insurance companies uh, here in the Philippines, and uh, you know, they had age limits, uh, so it was difficult. So I become frustrated, and I just held on to my Phil Health, uh, hoping it would 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 cover uh, a certain percentage of expenses. And I felt I was very healthy, so I thought, well, what's going to happen to me? You know, and, and yet, at the same time, I've observed, I think, gosh, several years ago, there were like five people that I knew, expats here in the Philippines, all in the hospital at the same time with pneumonia. And they were there for a couple of weeks or longer. And... Uh, you know, those bills add up, even though they're in pesos, they, they do add up. I know a couple of people asked for for help from other people, loans that I think never got paid back, for instance. At the very least, I would think a person should get the, uh, the standard, the select standard plan, go with the ward, that is the least expensive, and even if you want to save additional money, go with the uh, with the co-payment to get the additional discount, 25% discount on the premium. That, you know, that brings it. If you can't afford that, uh, boy, that's a tough situation to be in, uh, because there is no there is no basically safety net here in the Philippines, medical insurance-wise. I will put uh, Charisse's uh, contact information. She is in the office here in close to Ayala Mall in Cebu City. If you're close to some of the other offices, uh, you can also download uh, download their application, download their brochure on their website, um, pacificcross.com.ph. I'll put a link to uh, that in the description as well. Thanks for watching. Stay healthy. Stay out of the hospital as best you can. But sooner or later, you know it's going to happen. So best to be prepared with some insurance. Take care, and I'll see you next time.